All right, so a new campaign has officially started on Global, and it's actually a lot more substantial than I was expecting in terms of like the number of events and stuff like that, which is obviously a great thing. So without further ado, let's pop into the news and find out exactly what we can expect from this exciting autumn campaign. So here we go, it says, Full of energy, exciting autumn campaign is on new SSR Pan GT, who can launch three different unit super attacks. Will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Various events, including a new Dokkan event and uh, new stages of an Extreme Z area, will be available. In addition, don't miss out on the login bonus and missions that allow you to get Dragon Stones and other awesome rewards. Join the events and strengthen your allies. So. We're starting here with a login bonus, pretty standard, along with some special missions. And then we have the Dokkan Festival banner for the pan, along with the uh, banner side unit, which is the uh, Trunks and Giru. And from there we have a GT Bosses category summon, which is obviously a trap, so don't summon on that banner. But if you guys want to know my opinions on this banner right here, then feel free to go check out that pass or pull video that I made I think yesterday or maybe two days ago. I'll put a link somewhere over my head for that. And after that we have a Dragonstone sale. Very, very normal sale for like a regular Dokkan Fest banner. So we have two 32 stone packs and four 91 stone packs. And we also have a Elder Kai banner, pretty standard. And a exciting autumn ticket pack, which includes tickets for the Pan uh, Dokkan Festival banner. And of course, we have the new Dokkan event for the Pan. We have a renewal of the Kid Vegeta Super Strike event, where he gets a Dokkan Awakening, as well as an Extreme Z Awakening. And speaking of Awakenings, we also have two new characters that can be awakened from this story event. It would be the Tech GT Goku, and also the... Is it AGL Hyper Metal Real though, or is it SDR? I forgot his type, but either way. Uh, we got a Rildo and a GT Goku getting Dokkan Awakenings, and their Extreme Z Awakenings are also available through the new stages of this Extreme Z Area event. And obviously we gotta have a new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, the 48th one to be exact, along with a new stage of Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, it's stage 33, I forgot the category though. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the category is, but yeah, it's stage 33 of Extreme Super Battle Road. We got, of course, some GT events returning as well for the campaign. And also, Extreme Z Awakening for the LR GT Trio, the uh, and Goku and Trunks. So, of course, they have their own Legendary Summon banner along with the Extreme Z Battle event. And uh, we have a new Peton Battle dropping at the same time along with a new regular Super Battle Road stage. And I can't remember what the category for this one is either, but uh, yeah, new normal Super Battle Road stage. And also a new Rising Dragon Carnival Double Rates banner featuring the two new Peppy Gals units, the AGL Chilai and also the, I think, STR, or is it Int? I think it's STR Fasha, but I could be wrong. Either way, kind of excited. For these two, I'm not gonna lie, especially the Chilai, she's just a very, very unique unit. Um, so I would love to pull her. I'm definitely gonna break my rule and actually summon on this banner because generally speaking, I don't like summoning on Rising Dragon Carnivals, but I think I have to make an exception for, uh, for these two. So yeah, we got the new Rising Dragon Carnival dropping on the 17th. We have the Extreme Z area for these four girls right here dropping on the 17th as well, and also a new Explosive Chain Battle, which you guys know is my favorite event against Oceanus Shenron, and uh, reopening of the Magical uh, magical Girl Fighters event, along with the reopening of the uh, Magical Girl Fighters Extreme Z Area event as well for these three free-to-play units. So. That is the exciting autumn campaign, but that's not all. We do have 
a few more things to check out. So there is the Quest Dokkan Story Renewal Campaign, which uh, is for the new stages of the Dokkan Quest Story that we're going to be getting uh, a little bit later. I'm not sure if there's an actual day set here. Um, yeah, I don't know if they say... Oh, you know what? They do say. No, they don't say. Wait. Because uh, it says right here... Yeah, October 11th, but that's for the Legendary Challenge campaign for the LR Vegito Blue. So, I guess it's just at a later date. It says, a new area will soon be added to Quest. A campaign held to celebrate the renewal of Quest is on. So maybe it is the 11th, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't hold me to that. But uh, basically, we got various events that will make quests even more enjoyable, such as missions that allow you to get up to 30 Dragon Stones and EXP from Quest Quadrupled are available. In addition, a Legendary Challenge campaign will become available starting from the 11th, plus starting from the 19th, an Extreme Challenge campaign will also be available. So, uh, yeah, we got some quests here, up to 30 Dragon Stones. Um, the incredible gem section of the Baba Shop is also updated. We'll check out that separate notice in a second. We got four times the XP from Quest. We have the legendary challenge campaign for the LR Vegito Blue, along with his extreme challenge campaign. And then we also have... Uh, where's the Baba Shop thing? Okay, let's check out the Baba Shop thing. So basically, the list of merchandise that can be obtained with Incredible Gems has been updated. You can get, uh, let's see, more Elder Kai's and more Patara and Ultimate Clash medals. That's great. In addition, other Awakening medals required to strengthen characters and Hercule Statue Gold are also available for exchange. Collect the treasure item Incredible Gem in Quest Dokkan Story in exchange for the merchandise of your preference. Okay, so basically positive changes coming to the Baba Shop. And let's check out the Legendary Campaign for the Vegito Blue. So that's starting on the 11th. And essentially it's like the other Legendary Campaigns if you um, are able to awaken him to LR status and get him to Super Attack 20 and Rainbowed, then you get a bunch of rewards from that. And then a little bit later, He's also going to be Extreme Z Awakening on the 19th. So, lots of exciting things happening, guys. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything else. I think that's it for all the news here. Yeah, that's about it. So, like I said, guys, a pretty substantial campaign, all things considered. There's a lot of stuff happening. I mean, I guess it's technically not just the, you know, Autumn campaign. It's the uh, new quest story stages uh, campaign as well as the Vegito Blue campaign, but there's just a lot of stuff happening at once. It's, uh, you know, still pretty exciting, not quite as exciting as what we just, you know, came from, which is the Worldwide Celebration, but all things considered, you know, considering Pan is not the most exciting Dokkan Fest release, it's not bad. It's not bad. So the next couple of weeks on Global should be mildly interesting should be mildly um, entertaining and then after that we have uh, some pretty big things coming around the corner like the uh, Gallic Gun Trunks and Vegeta, the uh, Mursa Masu, we got the Heroes Lab with apparently uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and uh, some Awakenings for the Super Saiyan 4s from the Heroes Collabs so excited for that and uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited for as far as this campaign goes. And uh, I'll bring you guys some videos tomorrow for my Pan Summons, for my Extreme Super Battery Clear, uh, Battlefield, and all that good stuff. But for now, that's all i got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.